is example three in the number theory topic. We've been looking at the Euclidean algorithm. If we know the greatest common divisor, then we can simplify fractions. So although this doesn't ask us to find the highest common factor, we know that any time we simplify a fraction, uh, like 12 over 15, the way in which we fully simplify it is simply to divide the numerator and denominator by the highest common factor, or greatest common divisor of 12 and 15, which in this case would be three. And by doing that, we end up with four fifths, which is a fully simplified fraction. So we can simplify the fraction example three if we know the highest common factor. And that's how uh, we need to use the Euclidean algorithm because quite frankly, um, I don't know what the answer is. I could keep dividing through by two uh, or by three, but this is a, a much better way. So we want to find the greatest common divisor. Uh, we take the larger of the two numbers and we set up our division algorithm. So 3024 divides into 5184 one time. Uh, we've got a remainder there for 2160. It's not a zero remainder, so everything shuffles over. We're now going to take 3024 and divide it by 2160. If you haven't seen examples one and two about why we do that, then go and check it out. Again, there's only a, a, a quotient of one. And there's a remainder here of 864. We need to keep going. So 2160 moves over to the left and 864 moves up. And this time we can divide 864 into 2162 times, uh, leaving us with a remainder of 432. Still not a zero remainder. Everything shoves, shoves over to the left, 864. And we're dividing by 432, and that divides exactly two times, which means we've got the remainder of zero. And if that's a remainder of zero, there is our greatest common divisor of 432. So that might be all you're asked to find, but in this case, we're asked to actually simplify a fraction. So in order to do that, we're effectively going to divide by, what was the number? 432. Um, which is going to give us, uh, as a simplified fraction, 7 on the numerator, 12 on the denominator. And there we go. We've simplified it using our greatest common divisor. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, if you've got the notes, um, here's a couple of other ones. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to pause the, the video. And I'm going to write up the solution so you don't have to just sit and listen to me drone on. So if you want to stop and try them, and in a couple of seconds, you'll see the answers pop up onto the screen, okay? Ta -da! Okay, there's the answers if you've had a go at that. Um, hopefully that all makes sense, uh, and you can practice a few more uh, as we go along. Okay, so that's the Euclidean algorithm and how we find the greatest common divisor. What we're going to have a look at is how we use that to... Uh, solve a particular problem which uh, we call Bezu's identity, um, which is an interesting development of it. So make sure you can do this first before you go on to uh, the next example for.